This is Eric Basira, also known as the Black Rhino, and I am doing some fan art, and I'll show you what I have in mind. There's an author named Anne Parrish. She wrote a book called All the Roads That Lead from Home, and uh, she's a, a novelist. This is not a, uh, a comic book, graphic novel, picture book. It's a straight-up novel, and sometimes I look up these authors, and I look at there are pages uh, that are available to view, like on Amazon, and I look for interesting, uh, inspirational lines. And um, in in her book, the, All the Roads That Lead from Home, there's this interesting uh, exchange right here, and it just made me think, oh, this would be interesting to draw, these two people talking about uh, nothing, really, but it's... Uh, facial expressions right so I'm working in clip studio paint and I keep a a reference file here of the um, the quote I'm gonna move this off screen just so that I can work and um, you won't you won't see it but I'll see it on my my other monitor and uh, essentially what I've done is I've started uh, I've, I've I've laid out the page, all right. So what I want to do in this case is to uh, st start to uh, draw in what I think is is happening here. So uh, this is a uh, this is actually I don't even need to go that far. I can turn to my panels actually and I will turn off uh, these and I'm working in clip studio paint also known as manga studio and I will extend uh, these panels oops let me change my settings here and so I don't select the wrong thing and there we go. So here, here, and here. These will stay the same. And at the bottom, I will use one panel st stretching across. This may change, but uh, I'm doing like a speed. The fan art, uh, I don't spend too much time on because... Uh, got to make a living but you really want to try to do a decent uh, try to do a decent job and uh, I like to set up my my rulers right away uh, I am not the most talented when it comes to uh, composition so I like to uh, use rulers when it comes to uh, golden mean and rule of thirds, golden spiral, things like that. And the best way for me, so that I don't have to think about, um, you know, I don't have to fiddle around moving things here and there because it just doesn't, quote unquote, look right. If I can just put down certain objects properly uh, within the rule of, of thirds or the spiral or the mean um, it just saves me a lot of time I just finished a 90 page graphic novel by Dean and the Secret of the Sami and uh, finished inking it and you really gotta save time you know alright so now I have all these folders already prepared uh, this is kinda how I work and let me actually drop the opacity a little more on the uh, draft here. Draft, let's drop it overall. There we go. And I want to do what's called uh, tight, tight penciling. And let's turn off these, these extra guides here. We don't need them now. And... 
this the first is uh, folding the money so you know I'm, I'm imagining um, you know, let me something something here you know finger or something and when I do my composition I I want to keep it as loose as possible now I'm sure there's a many better ways to work, um, but this is just what uh, works for me. So this is the putting it in the envelope. In fact, you know what? I will leave this out for you to see too. Why not? I mean, I'm just doing rough composition. I don't need too much screen space. Um, so you can see what I'm doing. This is Donnie folded. Uh, I'm sorry, put it in the envelope. You know, maybe something here, like so. Um, let's go to panel C and uh, folded the money, put it in the envelope, then lick. This is uh, lick the envelope. So when you have an envelope, which it's always good to have references. <laughs> so I have an envelope on my desk in front of me. I have a couple envelopes, actually. I have some envelopes I haven't even opened. And that's not good. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, not bills. All right. So, um, you know, so basically there's, there's the glue. Maybe there's the tongue. All right. And, you know, all of this might change, but at least you start thinking about. All right. And then you seal the envelope. All right. Oops. And maybe so the reader understands, you know what's going on here so maybe sealed the envelope there okay now we go to the next panel and this one is uh, dialogue okay so this is um, this is really good to just lay it in you know that's uh, disgusting yeah, and we'll move that up, and we'll move it to the text layer. I don't know, Clip Studio Paint always by default puts it in an outside layer. Very annoying. I have to tell them that. Maybe they'll improve it. Okay, and, um, you know, that's disgusting, and we'll go to... The next one, uh, actually, that was the face. I actually, that was supposed to be the face. So, let me move that. That was supposed to be a facial expression. There we go. And move that here. Good. So, so I want to do the dialogue. I like to get these, uh, the, the, the lettering right, you know. You do that. then you kind of have an idea where things fall when you when you draw you know your limits um, what yeah and we can even make this smaller right yeah and the rule of thirds will change too with that we'll have to change that and uh, the next one is you that that sound you made, what sound? What sound? That's disgusting. You know what? I actually, I did have that right. It's disgusting. What? Yeah, I, mi I mixed it up with my rough composition um, with your tongue. Yeah. All right, so let's go backwards. <laughs> uh, 
with uh, your tongue. All right, and move that down to make a balloon. And you know, we can shrink that a little bit. And so, with your tongue, what sound? Yeah, I, I think I was mixing things up, confusing myself, and then. What sound is here? Not what, but what sound. And make that balloon a little bigger. And then we'll go back here. That's that's disgusting. So we're going what sound? You. That sound you made. All right. Uh, you. And then we're going to add that sound you made. And then we'll... Hmm. Come on. Nope. I think it's too close. There we go. All right. You. That sound you made. And then we can move that slightly hmm. and let's add fancy I've been uh, at least for my graphic novel I've been merging most of the word balloons like this this uh, makes it very easy yeah let me just pivot this a little bit here yeah. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can we can fiddle with that, perfecting it at another time. You that sound you made. Yeah. Yeah. You that as you that sound you made. What now? We have a what over here. We could just do the balloon and what? Yeah, and yeah. and then over here. We have to move this down into the text folder. Over here, that's disgusting. We want to say that's disgusting. <laughs> All right. That's disgusting. I'm going to put exclamation mark. That's not what the author did, <laughs> but you know, if the author if I was actually working for the author, I definitely wouldn't change it. This is, like I said, this is just fan art. You know, you're just trying to make it the way you see it. You know, giving them credit uh, for their work. All right, so that's disgusting. What you, that sound you made, what sound with your tongue. And then I have them both looking at each other. So let's fix that. Once you have all the rules in place uh, your rulers and your dialogue you can do the fun stuff and draw without worrying too much uh, oop, you know am I making a mistake or did I leave something out yeah alright so let's start doing Let's start doing uh, tight pencils, okay? And um, we can now close. We can now get rid of our sub view window. 
get that out the way because we got all the dialogue we need and now all right, I'm gonna turn off this rough up here and let's drop the opacity some more and I get a sip of water All right, so this one is the uh, fo uh, folding money, right? So, so what? Yeah, what are we gonna do to fold the money, right? Maybe let me turn off this composition there, because now we're starting to build something. Yeah. So folding money, I think there's a thumb involved with that. And uh, what we can do, we can do a quick search. Folding money, money, and uh, see what DuckDuckGo gives us. So it's like origami, that's definitely not what, um, yeah. Yeah, so maybe this, I'll get get that open there in another window, and um, we could say holding. Now, if he's going to put it in an envelope, it's not going to be a tight wad of cash like that, you know. Yeah, so we got that. And I'll move this off screen. All right. So, um, yeah, so I have my thumb. I have a thumb here. I think I'm going to go off of, off of uh, this. So, I don't know. Gotta do, gotta do a fold, a fold of money. Yeah, it's a fold. That's a fold. It's a rough fold, but it's a fold. There's a little shadow. And, and we, we need to distinguish, you know, what it is. So now we got a rule of thirds here. So we can, we got to make sure the, you know, signs of what it could be, you know. I don't know how much money it was, so let's just deal with a simple number. Five. Five. And, uh, you know, we don't know who the $5 bill is right now. We don't have to worry about that. But it's folded. So since it's folded, we're only going to see part of it. And Get folded here and I want to show the five five dollar here, five dollar here, and we'll kind of go like this. Right, and I don't know if there's a five on the opposite side. I don't remember. <laughs> Have to check a reference, but we just want to get a better, a better outline. All right. So if if they're holding it like this, maybe there'll be a pinky here, or maybe not so pinky. Yeah, there. 
I, don't, I forgot. I don't know what the other finger's called. <laughs> okay, so we've just, we have the fold right there. All right. Oh, tried to go off screen. And I pulled a ruler out. Let me get rid of those. I lost my panel. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And now we want to actually, I like the cross hatching where it is, but we have to, again, we think about the rule of thirds, right? So what's the subject, the thumb or the money? But he's folding money, so it's money that's folded. I think the subject is there. Hmm. Turn off that ruler. Let's do the next page. Uh, sorry, panel. So we're going to drop the opacity a little bit. All right. So here is the um, the next the next topic is uh, putting it putting it in an envelope. This is putting it in. All right. So here is where the envelope possibly like so and here's maybe the glue portion right and I'm going to run over and just grab a real envelope it's that I don't have to tear open and look at a bill and um, I have it in front of me it's kind of This way, but the thing about envelopes is when it's open, you have a pouch, right? A pocket. So it's just that's kind of like a fold. <laughs> it's shorthand for me to tell me that's a fold. Right. And then the the, the envelope kind of it's it's actually a piece of paper that's folded, cut and folded in a certain way. All right. And we have a little bit of a, a shadow in there because there's depth, right? It's kind of open. All right. So, I'm going to make a, a duplicate draft layer and call it draft hand. Because I might, I might need to, I might have to um, go in there and move shift parts around. All right. Now I could take this um, on the left side and, and stick it in there. So that's that's one possibility. And if that's the case, I have to go on it. I'm going to copy that. Now I didn't plan any of this, so I'm, I'm I'm really winging it. Yeah, and let me shrink it, and I'm going to bring the envelope uh, opacity down just so I can s distinguish what is what here. and invert the selection and delete that. Okay, now let's turn off the ruler. It's getting a little distracting. Uh, yeah. So I don't I don't like that. I'm 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 just this is this looks bad too, but I was curious. All right, so uh, draft hand. So now what we got to do is we have to put the money in, right? We have to put the money in the envelope. And we, we can actually hold the envelope also. Um, and the, the person's holding the envelope. Right? And sticking sticking the money in 
So now that maybe the thumb turns a little bit as um, as they're as they're twisting it in, so it's not at that angle anymore. And so what I'm going to do is quite simply. Um, I'm going to use my own uh, hand actually and I you can't see this but it is uh, nevertheless easy to do if, if you have a hand <laughs> if, you, if you're missing a hand it's not going to be so easy to do so you can use a 3d model you can use another model you can use a reference a reference photo if, if, if you'd like yeah. So, and here's where we have to do a little um, artistic license with uh, maybe maybe a move move the uh, the denomination symbol over a little bit, just so the reader doesn't get too confused about what's going on. Um, and then obviously these parts are you know America America that's that's what it says on the bill in my hand you know and uh, you know, there's a little pier uh, eagle right there I think that's a little too bony up there, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. Yeah, and put part of the five there, and and then let's just you know we don't even have to give it a border. Um, so let's turn on the envelope layer. Let's make the envelope layer a little more robust, and then we can use a little um, a little mask little mask there and we'll erase what's underneath the bill um, because this is our this is our tight pencil so we're gonna when we do the ink we want it to be flawless um, that's a five I'm sitting there trying to erase it um, all right so that panel's done so the next next is uh, licking, all right. So this can be fun. Um, so and my my original concept here is it was very rigid. So what I was thinking was um, you know the uh, fingers and uh, I keep a mirror. Uh, low by my keyboard uh, so I can see fingers um, if I have to do a quick you know does the thumbnail go like that or <laughs> and uh, so the middle middle ones always a little little bit longer than the uh, than the others you know yeah all right and then the envelope is uh, on the on the other side of the envelope it's there's no folds you know and then here is the uh, f is the uh, where the paper flaps up and now now what we'll do is we'll make a uh, face draft face. We're going to keep that separate too. Let's turn off this composition. We don't need that now. Um, and you know, let's see, this is uh, Donnie. So I'm, I'm going to say Donnie's a dude. That Donnie's a, Donnie's a guy, you know. Yeah. And there's Donnie's uh, 
eyes. I'll even give them a little bit of lash. I know some say don't do that for the men, but just a, just a little bit. And maybe, maybe not. Maybe I won't even keep it. But, uh... So the eyes are a little high, but what did I do? There we go. Maybe they're a little low, right here. So here we have a rule of thirds that is kind of tricky, right? So you know the tongue is here. I like the fingers, but I'm afraid I'm losing something here. So. I think it's better to go like this, you know, because you have an eye up at the corner looking down here. And then sometimes what I do is I grab um, a, uh, a, a slant, a uh, golden slant ruler. Now, these are all rulers that you can buy at Doug Hill's website. He's a manga studio, uh, clip studio artist, and um, I find these rulers to be invaluable. I don't even use all of them, in, in, but they were so important in my graphic novel to help me see what things were lining up right. So this is pretty close. This is pretty good with this golden slant here. So we can. Um, we can turn off these rulers. And I, I know that with practice, you get good at composition like this, and you really don't need to uh, use all these rulers. Like I said, I'm not really a, a great illustrator, but um, you know, I need help. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to... Uh, swim with a life jacket on, you know, in the swimming pool. It's a little overkill maybe, but hey, if you don't know how to swim too well, why not? Don't take a chance, right? Okay, so now, now the face, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that this is a teenager's maybe. Um, so I'm going to get a uh, uh, teenager. I have a book of really cool facial expressions by Mark Simon. Uh, I have two books for youth, for children, and then uh, um, and then uh, adults. So I am I'm looking through. You can't see it, but so you know. So let's say let's say Donnie's to the left. And, uh, and, not and, Maggie's to the right. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I have a facial expression uh, that's going in the other direction, but I can always flip it. And it's kind of a disgusted type of uh, a disgusted type of expression uh, for a female. It's 18 years old. Yeah. And this is. I actually want to show teeth, make it like really revolting, like she's really grossed out. And let me, um, 
put this book to the side so that I can use both hands and whip this up. So these these eyes are kind of like scrunched. Oops. Yeah. Like I think uh, I think I'm gonna leave it kind of open, like bug-eyed, kind of like oh my god, that's awful. That's so gross. How could you do that? Why don't you just like get a towel and a moist towel, why would you put that in your, you know, in your, in your mouth, you know? I think that's too outrageous, wide open like that. Yeah, we can go here and here. And maybe turn this a little bit. And I think I def I think I definitely want to show some teeth. I think I want to show the teeth. I don't know, that just doesn't look right to me. Looks like I should probably have it kind of like maybe a little bit of tongue sticking up in there. And then really kind of get this dissatisfied look. So if I can get some hair, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty good there. And we have a little bit here. Now the mouth is a little low. So I've kind of established these uh, characters, and now I'm going to switch yeah, that's it's better. And um, maybe let's see what happens here. No. This is fine right there. I gave myself one hour to do this, <laughs> and I'm running out of time. The bags are a little too much there. And you know, I wanted to change, uh, but we'll, 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 uh, trying to think where. This is Maggie. So. Give her a little less bony jaw, uh, a little less. Nose is a little strange too. Maybe end it here and come up here. Yeah. All right. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, 
Now I need a, a shirt or something, but let's just go like this. I should have something with the hand. I was thinking, um, like, like a hand by the mouth, like, oh, that's so gross. So, hmm, where am I? Up here. There we go. And, uh, you know, this, this, this. I gotta, I gotta drop this opacity more. I'm starting to get confused. All right, there we go. And it's not so pretty, but uh, it's, it's, you know, it's getting there. And a little the fat here of the hand. So, what's the name of the, uh, I think LaCree Fine Art, she's on YouTube, she says, fingers are not sausages, <laughs> and I always make sausage out of fingers, it's really ugly, so it takes a little refinement, so that's disgusting, <laughs> so let's uh, get rid of, let's get a mask, get rid of this stuff in here. And turn this up. Turn off the ruler. And I'm running out of time. I got 10 minutes. Nice thing, though, about the next batch here is we might be able to recycle. I don't like recycling the pictures, you know, like what I was about to do with the thumb. But um, sometimes it really works. When you take a look at uh, my favorite comic, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, um, does a lot of that. But each picture is a little slightly different. He doesn't completely recycle, um, always. Looks like he does sometimes, but... Um, and I'm dropping the rule of thirds for these because otherwise you have uh, important parts of the face being covered with uh, word words so we don't want to do that and with your tongue Oh, oh, what am I doing here? Oh, wrong tool. All right. And move this up. Doing lots of keyboard shortcuts here, so I'm trying to do this all real fast so I can't give you a step-by-step. -step. And again, you may be watching this saying, man, this dude does not know what he's doing. But, um, you know, I do illustration I do these kind of comics because I like to I like stories so I'm not doing it to draw comics I'm not trying to be you know super uh, comic book hero illustrator so uh, what is uh, Donnie okay yeah so let's Basically, we can 
we can even we don't even need to be that tight. I don't I don't need to do the shading. So I need to have a, a face of, uh, like, what? What did I do? I don't get it. And I'm looking through my my facial expressions. Um, <clears throat> very possibly the eye is just not right. So maybe... Uh, Kind of squinty. Yeah, yeah. So we'll move this down now. Make it. Get a little squinty there. So the nose, I'm gonna work on that nose. There we go. It's more of the nose I had in mind for Donnie. And then the mouth is just not right. It's gotta be like a what? A what? Yeah, there we go. Something like that. And his eye is probably a little too wide. And, you know, I think the angle's off a little bit. So let's see if I can kind of... Yeah. Okay, so let's... Sometimes when you, you're doing the composition part, uh, it serves as a tight pencil, depending on your time. And uh, the eye should be looking a little more over here into the panel into the panel All right. so let's close that save and it's uh, five minutes left on my self-imposed deadline I'm not doing too well um, I'm going to go back to my reference to this 18 year old girl and she's got the perfect f expression I think that I need and you know there's a um, I don't think there's many artists especially you know I just don't think there's many artists that don't use references so um, if you think it's cheating, you know, it very well could be, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really, I don't think I'm cheating, but I'm just trying to move quickly. <laughs> uh,
this is a uh, teeth clench. This is, I should have done the eyes first. Maybe the here. Yeah. We gotta lower them. It's a nice thing about uh you know the digital. It's uh you don't have to erase so much. Yeah, let's go over here like a little more this way. Maybe a little more straightforward. She's got big bushy eyebrows. And and she says you made a sound. So it made me think of something. If he if he made a sound, then <laughs> then we got to put that in. The author may not um, want that though, because they may want the reader to get the imagination. Uh, but it, in comics and graphic novels and sequential art, it might yeah you know, it might be better to do. Um, because in the, in the book, the book, it says, lick the envelope and sealed it. That's disgusting. You know, so there is no sound effect in the novel. So we are, uh, kind of pushing things. Um, and again, the, the author, the author may not like that. So you, you have to be ready for them to say, no, no, don't put a sound effect don't put a sound effect in there. All right, so I don't have a lot of time left, so I need to just I need to just stick with the regular font. <laughs> and uh I'm just sometimes I get <laughs> I get the inspiration to do something and uh, I shouldn't do it. So let's just and I want to show you that also draft, 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 uh, slurp. All right, so we could turn that off and then. It's nice to do your own. You know, something like that. So, whatever. And we can adjust that later, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. Um... Let's go back to the face. I just want to make sure her eyes line up. Her eyes are a little close in the first one, but I think this is appropriate. Let me, I think this this one should be a little bit lower. Yeah. And then there's something wrong. The lip. And the nose here. I think that's right. So it's the mouth. It's too low. Let's see, she does have a little bit of a, you know, she's a little more mature, so. And we could put the hair here and here, placing it for the reader. And as far as rule of thirds go, we're a little, we're a little, we're a little off. It 
bothers me. I'm obsessing. So maybe I could help um, that some other time. You know what? What sound should be even very annoyed? So actually, this I'm going to duplicate that and move it downstairs to K. And this is what sound? You know. And uh, that mouth is too far over, and it's crooked. The angle's just too strong, I think. If it's going to be that strong, i got to fix the eye. That's better. Okay, um, so let's go back and adjust this so it's not so extreme. The eyes are a little more open. You know what, let's go a little more gestured here. gonna stay the same. What sound? What? I wanna make his eyes a little bigger here. Looking a little too beady. there and the mouth is off again it's like what sound what sound you made what what sound and uh, see this is where I think it's okay in in the graphic novel um, I do a lot, not a lot of this, but some, in, 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 in quick interchanges of dialogue. And it's useful. It just keeps it simple. Because, again, we're trying to tell a story. We're not necessarily trying to make masterpieces. But in a sense, it should be a masterpiece. Did I do this right? So he's over there, she's over there. I think I'm going to move her. That was my book. And uh, yeah, make it a little more there. That looks, that looks about right. Okay, so let me copy that so I don't have to redraw. Is this right? 
Yeah. There we go. Delete. Yeah, there we go. I think. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got two compositions. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we let's move her balloon. And when he says what sound, I think trying to match the uh, composition of the first one uh, so I was learning that you know in film and pictures uh, drawing you want to you don't want to make the reader get like wonder what's going on you want to keep similar points in each panel uh, so don't get too radical with uh, panels kind of stick with a basic grid and uh, make your art beautiful within the grid and um, I like to keep things simple so <laughs> so there we go let's do the final panel so what I wanted to do is a side by side so here's Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. You know, they're at equals, they're equals. These are real tight pencils, actually, for me up here. Anyways, um, you know, maybe he's got his hand here. It's like, Yeah, that's weak. I don't like it. <laughs> so, let's see what happens if we just do some shapes. You know. Or... Maybe it'd be good to see the next line in the book. I probably should have. Uh, I should have uh, went further. And this is him holding the envelope. I don't like it. Or I do like it actually. It's like, well, take your money. <laughs> take your money. Uh, I don't, I don't know what happens in this story. I, I should have kept reading. Oh, shame on me. Well, I like the scene. I just wanted to make dialogue. I wanted to make a fun comic from Miss Parrish's book. So, um, You know, maybe it says happy birthday on it or rent. I, I think it was rent. I don't I don't remember. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and if you if you're watching this, you're like, no, that's not what it's about. I'm sorry. Uh but uh, <laughs> we'll just say rent or birthday, whatever. I just don't remember. And I just don't have time to look it up. But now we can. He's got his long sleeve shirt, sweater, or whatever. 
Oh, it's over. It's over an hour. It's taking me over an hour to do this. And the nice thing about taking a long time is it, you know, I can I can make art. I can sell. So I like, and it makes me a better artist. I think the more I. I draw. So this finger's a little. My fingers are getting kind of sausagey, aren't they? <laughs> um. Mm hmm. And here's my timeout. I have a timeout timer to make me get up. I delayed it for an hour, but. Because we're working together, I have to skip it for the video. It's very good for your health if you get up. You sit down a lot for your job. You should get up. It's good for your health. Um, and if you're going to be an artist, you're going to have to spend a lot of time drawing in order to make money, right? So let's turn this off. So there we have it. I think uh, from here... It's pretty, it's, it's all downhill for, uh, for me, for, you know, as, as, as an artist, because then the inking is hard work. I will uh, just close all these, actually, to stay, I like to stay kind of organized, but uh, let's turn off, actually, let's turn off the rulers. And uh, yeah, and then we can close everything. Make it neat. Save. And what we'll do is we'll click on the folder, and that will get rid of the. Oh, we have a ruler down there that we don't want. Here you are, confusing myself. So, so here you have it. Uh, Leanne Parrish's "All the Roads That Lead Home." Uh, this is from her book. I, I don't have the page number, but uh, here's the folded money it's being s stuck in the envelope. Slurp. It's disgusting. What you? That sound you made. What sound with your tongue? And then he gives her. He gives that to her. So the next step would be inking, uh, color, and then your, you know, some shading or whatever. Make it really pretty. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry I can't finish it. I just at this time I just have to stop. I have uh, lots of other work to do. Uh, and Parrish, I hope that you got to watch this and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please tell all your writer friends and uh, anyone else. <laughs> oh, so, uh, oh, you know, there's one other thing. Look at this. The panels are butted against each other down here. we got to fix that. That is not going to fly. Um, there we go. I don't know why that happened. I, I usually go right to the guides. Something, something didn't work, but, uh, anyways, so there you have it, and, and if, if you want this, uh, I'll be more than glad to, uh, send you the file, any format you need. All right, everybody, take care.